and happy Friday, everybody. Today, my wife and I are invited to go on a tour by lorry. So why don't you come and join us? We were visiting Bale Kampong, a food and recreation center in Bale Pulau. The proprietor, Mr. Woon, asked us whether we would like to go have a tour of Bale Pulau by lorry. And why not? Of course, I accepted. But before we start, let me first give you our starting point coordinates. You can key these coordinates into your GPS, Google Maps or Waze to reach Balik Kampung located beside Jalan Kuala Jalan Baru in Balik Pulau. At Balik Kampung, you can hire bicycles to explore the countryside and if Mr. Woon is available, he can also give you a tour on his lorry at a reasonable price. And off we go! <laughs> ah, Bale Campo. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Oh, I see. <laughs> In front of us is the Balik Pulau countryside. Balik Pulau has the last remaining track of paddy fields on Penang Island. Much of the land that you see here was once paddy fields, but a lot of them has now become disused. It's only a matter of time that this open countryside make way for development, so we should enjoy it while we can. Let me turn to the left. Over here you can see that the paddy fields are still being used. Ah, we are stopping once again. How many can I? Oh, Jiao Siu. Look, look, over there. Ah, Jiao Gong, Jiao Gong. Ah, see. Ah. Yeah, it's in Gunung Panak Kichu. Yeah, go ah. See, that's why. This is Kyo Hong Su. He is a man. He is a firefly. Oh, that's a firefly. As I listen, I feel a bit sad of this habit of plucking from nature, which will soon be lost. It seems to me, the rural people think nothing about taking from nature, and when nature is lost permanently, they simply accept it as fated. But I'm not here to be judgmental. I'm just here to discover what's to see over here on this side of Penang Island. We are so lucky to have good weather today because it was raining the day before. In Landscast Penang Island, this is the largest tract of empty undeveloped land you'll find. We are actually near the bank of the river here. This river is not very long but it has three different names depending on where you are. Near Balik Pulau town is called Sungai Kongsi. A little outside town, it becomes Sungai Tititeras. 
and over here, before it discharges into the sea, it is called Sungai Kuala Jalan Baru. We are now entering a barn road that goes right through the paddy fields. This scenery in Balik Pulau is how Bayan Baru used to look like in 1970. There was no township back then and at night it was pitch black. Today, Bayan Baru has become a vibrant township on the eastern side of Penang Island. But over here on the western side, it is still paddy fields. If you enjoy learning about places, do visit my website Penang Travel Tips where I describe Balik Pulau and many of the places there. As a child, I grew up in Batumau where there were paddy fields like this too. But as with Bayan Baru, the paddy fields of Batumau have all made way for development. There's not one in sight today. You can see on our top left that housing development has also arrived in Bali Pulau. Oh. I would not be surprised if one day these paddy fields are gone. And if they are, I hope my video can help me retain in my memory how it once was. There's a lock over here to control the flow of water entering the paddy fields. Ah, we are stopping once again. Oh, okay. Oh, Oh, Okay, Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I Oh, Okay, 
一部咧好嘅，因為依啲地是乜花嚟嘅。Hmm, it appears to me developing agricultural land is not that straightforward. Getting the land title converted from agriculture to residential or industrial is a lengthy and complicated process. On top of that, any would-be developer has to understand that land in Malaysia comes under four different types. Freehold, leasehold, Bumiputra lot and Malay reserve. The owner of the land may own the title, but not necessarily have the literacy to understand his land type and what use can be made of it. As such, the onus is on the developer to understand the land he is planning to acquire for development. An egret has just flown past, not sure whether you can see it. In the case of soggy paddy fields, to develop it for housing and other purposes, the developer has to raise the height of the land through land filling. For that reason, although rural land is generally much cheaper than urban land, the cost involved in developing it consumes a significant percentage of the profit. In the end, how soon this piece of Balik Pulau land is developed will depend on how pressing the need happens to be. Right now, we are crossing the largest flat expanse on Penang Island that has remained undeveloped. From Kuala Jalambaru in the north to Kampung Pulau Betong in the south, this area is as large as the whole Bayang Lepas Free Industrial Zone. Except along Jalambaru, which cuts through this area from north to south, the land has no houses on it. Yet most Penang people have never visited it before, except for trips to Balik Pulau Town and Durian Orchards. To be fair, it's also the first time I've travelled across the Balik Pulau paddy fields, but I've explored and written about much of Balik Pulau for my website. Now I will sit back and enjoy the scenery until we reach the next site. Another birdhouse for owls on our left. We have reached the junction at Bakau Tukiat. We will now turn right and head south. In front of us are the village houses of Kampung Sungai Burung. In front of us is the bridge across Sungai Burung. <laughs> we are making another right turn and heading west following the course of Sungai Burung. Right now we have Sungai Burung on our right. As with most of the rivers in Penang, it is now canalized. Heading in our direction is a group of people on ATV. The place to rent ATV is up ahead.
ATV Gua Kelawa Ha Looks like we are heading towards countryside stables, the place belonging to our friends Doris and Wan. I'm not sure whether the tour will stop over there. If it does, we'll come down and say hello to our friends if they happen to be around. The road is wide enough for only one lane of traffic, so we have to move to the shoulder every time an incoming car approaches. <coughs> over here Mr. Wood probably thought of parking but changed his mind We have arrived at Countryside Staples. Glad to see quite a lot of visitors today. We decided not to stop. I will return to pay Doris and Juan a proper visit another day. Hey, that little guy sing a lot, how sing? Sing. 
there's a new road under construction. In fact, it is an upgrading of a country lane. I can see a new bridge across Sungai Burong under construction. We are seeing here the future West Coast Road. It will connect Bagan Sungai Pinang in the north to Kampung Pulau Petong in the south. To reach the sea, we need to cut across the path of the new road. And now we are on the dirt track that connects to Pantai Malindo. On this side of the road is a line of mangroves that act as buffer between the sea and the hinterland. It forms a natural barrier against future tsunamis. That's the Sungai Burong Fisherman's Association, so we are near the Sungai Burong Fisherman's Wharf. And here's the wharf. It is at the Sungai Burong Estuary, a short distance from the open sea. The dirt track continues along the northern bank of Sungai Burong, all the way to the estuary breakwater. And over here, the dirt track itself is undergoing upgrading. Ha, see. Ha. This place is called Pantai Malindo, though to call it Pantai is rather a misnomer. There is nothing in the way of a beach here. The river itself has both its banks strengthened with revetments. Okay, we will stop the lorry here. Okay, come see. I see. Yeah. Oh. Don't lie to the table. So you see, Ingrid, you Okay. Oh, bay, bay, bay. Same, I think. Same site. You can see a small island on the left. That's Pulau Betong. Mm -hmm. 
On this side, we see the mudflats and mangrove. The same, the same as previous land, the land. This is the west coast of Penang Island. Though I live in Penang my whole life, it's a coastline that I rarely see. This breakwater just out from the northern side of the Sungai Burung estuary. You notice here that the coast is muddy. The same is true of the east coast of Penang Island before all the reclamation and development. Most of the sandy beaches in Penang are on the north and south coast as well as on the northwest and southwest. Let's walk all the way to the end. Not yet monitor lizard typing. This place is so tranquil, and the sea so calm. Beach Morning Glory. There are three types. This one is called Epomoya Pascapre. The southwest coast of Penang Island looking all the way to Kampung Pulau Betong and on the other side of the hill, Gerta Sanggong I suppose they gave this place the name Pantai Malindo because Malaysia is on this side and Indonesia across the sea on the other side but you can't see Indonesia from here, not by a long shot I often tell myself I explore so that my readers don't have to. In the past, I only come to you through my Penang Travel Tips website, through text and still photographs. But I'm sure through YouTube videos, I can provide you a more engaging experience. This is the closest we can get to having you right here with me. And you can do it from the comfort of your own armchair from anywhere in the world that you happen to be. I am of course immensely grateful that you will spend your time to watch my video. I hope that through my videos, you get a better idea of the world I live in, though we might never have met before. If you have enjoyed this video so far, please take a moment to give it a like and share it. And subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. That's Pulau Betong on the horizon. Here we are at the very end of the breakwater.
Ah, my wife wants to take a photo of me. Hello, my darling. Hmm, the sky is much nicer in this direction. I can see a fishing boat coming in from afar. Can you see it? The world seems so quiet over here. Okay, now let's go back. You can see that the entire coastline is clad with dense mangrove. I think this is how Penang Island looked like to early settlers before it was developed. Yeah, I see it. Ha,你这个关系是哦，一点黄家金子里哦，哦，所以千鸟啊，伊靠着一点，所以你你来听，听你千鸟就帮忙了。I see哈，所以讲伊这里这红树是伊伊大英来是呀，伊爬落伊爬到边好，哇，哦，哎，爬到嘞长，爬到嘞长多啊，古帮无在，古帮往西安西先哦，哈哈，但马上坐到你来时候
ยังตุสีเอเจเลทอมอยนะตุสีไฮอิงพาวิจิบายมาอีเตียวเดเอจุนกวยตอชะเนเบจิบชุนมาโซอีลองตุเบเกียวเจเลเซนโซอุยทอ